So now we're gonna talk about post-production. I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of Lightroom, show you my workflow, and then we're gonna get into the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal, where I'll show you best practices for keywording and uploading your images. So now that my sheet is wrapped, I've uploaded all my images into my Lightroom Classic Library, and I'm gonna take you through my workflow a little bit. When I do my post-production, I always use Lightroom Classic, and that is because it is the best application for batch editing and hopefully you have shot with a lot of variety so you're going to have a lot of images to upload. When I'm using Lightroom Classic, one thing I really like about it is how there's so many different ways to sort of rate your photos. For example, we have a star system as well as a color system. So when I'm looking through my photos, I might start by putting a one star on every image that I think is going to be worth submitting to Adobe Stock. Then I'll go back in and I'll look at my favorites, perhaps the ones that I really like and feel like editing first, I'll put a color label on. So here's one of my favorite images, and I'm going to walk you through a little bit of retouching. Uh, one of the first things I like to do is I have a basic preset set up. These are really simple things, just a little bit of contrast pop, a little bit of curves, you know, super simple things that I would do to every image. Um, so another thing I'd like to show you is um, something new in Adobe Lightroom Classic, which is called Premium Presets. Um, these are great. As you can see, they have different ones for portraits, and then they also have these different sort of styles. But in this case, I'm gonna go with these portraits that I think look great with the skin tone of my models today. So you see we have a lot of different options here. Some of it just does come down to artistic choice, but I think that this one looks pretty good. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Um, you definitely wanna avoid excessive HDR and filters. You don't want things to be oversaturated and you don't want faded styles, things that are too vintage or muddy without creative intent. Keep them natural but polished. Less is definitely more. When it comes to skin, it should definitely have texture. Depending on the subject, blemishes can be central to the image's message. However, take the time to clean up anything unintentional using the healing tool. And this is a really great feature of Lightroom Classic because it lets you make a lot of adjustments very quickly. So for example, we love the way this looks. We love the skin tone, we love the color balance. Now what we wanna do is apply that to a bunch of other images that were shot in the same setup. So we click this one, we select the others, and we hit sync. Now that we're in sync, we see that we have lots of options here. So you can adjust things like color balance, you could just adjust sharpening, you could just you know, adjust a single photo or you can adjust a batch of photos. But here, I think we're just gonna go with everything. So I hit synchronize, you look along the bottom here, and now everything that was in our selection has been given the same Lightroom Classic settings as the first one. I think that looks pretty good. Rather than uploading all of your images as a batch, you may wanna consider staggering your posts and uploading them uh, in small groups over the course of, let's say, a month. That way buyers have the best chance of finding your new work and seeing it. Titles and keywords play a vital role in surfacing your content on Adobe Stock. Here are some metadata best practices for lifestyle content for photo, illustration, and video. Titles should be concise. 70 characters is ideal, although the system allows up to 200. The title for this image is Smiling Mother and Son Eating Breakfast Together. Include all the important words from the title in the top 10 keywords for an extra bump in search relevance. Keyword order matters, with the first 10 affecting search results the most. The maximum number of keywords you can add is 49. Brand names, product names, and people's names shouldn't appear in the title. 